Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna talk about six side hustles that I've actually done from 14 to 21 years old. These are all realistic ways that I've actually made money or at least tried to make money throughout the years as I've learned more about entrepreneurship, trying to gain financial freedom. Whether you're 14 or 40 and you're watching this video trying to find a way to make money outside of a clock in, clock out job, I think you could try any of these side hustles and find success in them. Some of them I'm still doing today. Some of them weren't for me, but I think of all of them as building blocks that have taught me everything that I know about making money today. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first ever business idea that I remember ever actually taking action on was at 14 years old. I got a call from my friend Nico saying, let's start a lawn aeration business. If you don't know what lawn aeration is, it's basically, it's using this big machine to put holes in people's lawns. It basically helps water and air get into the soil after it's been compacted after the winter. We had no idea what we were doing. And from what I remember explaining to people at their doors, it wasn't much better than the explanation that I just gave you. But we did it. We went to Home Depot. We got one of these huge lawn aerators with our parents. And we went door to door trying to explain this lawn aeration thing to to every single house in the neighborhood. I think we charged something like $30 per lawn. We worked the entire day, like 12 plus hours. And I think by the end of it, we were like just barely profitable because the, the rent for the machine alone was like over a hundred bucks. So I think we maybe $50 in profit each. To this day, I'm not sure if anything we actually did helped anybody's lawn. And I'm almost certain there's a few lawns that we left worse than before we got there. So that was it for that business adventure. Uh, it was only one day. We gave up after one day, but it was a good experience. It was my first introduction to sales and making money without being an employee. And I actually found a poster that we made uh, when we were thinking of this business idea. We were going to call ourselves the Lawn Boys. <laughs> so it probably wasn't going to last much longer than a day anyways. All right, number two is dropshipping. So when I was 17, I came across a video of this kid, Tanner Plains. He had a video that he just came out with called How I Made $20,000 in a Day Drop Shipping at 16 Years Old. And the title alone blew my mind. This kid was making more money in a single day than I was in an entire year, it's like stacking produce at the grocery store I worked at. So I was like, I have to try this out, whatever this drop shipping thing is. I went on Shopify and decided I was gonna make a jewelry store cause Valentine's day was in like a week and I, and I was gonna call it magnificent other as in like another way to say significant other. But yeah, I decided my main product was gonna be this $2 necklace that I found on AliExpress. I think I put it on my site for like $25. And this was right when a lot of people were starting to go crazy on Facebook and Instagram ads. And I was starting to hear about how much money these dropshippers were making. So I was like, I'm gonna try Instagram ads. How, can, how hard can it be? So basically all I did was I just posted the stock AliExpress picture on my Instagram with the white background. And instead of like making a separate Instagram ad, like you're supposed to, I just boosted the post. And if you know anything about ads, like that's probably one of the worst converting methods for ads. But miraculously, I got a sale within like two hours after that. So I'm like, I cracked the code. I figured out how to make a million dollars on drop shipping. And this is how I'm gonna get rich off this jewelry store. So I, I leave the ad up for like maybe two more days and no sales after that. I just got lucky with that one sale. Then Valentine's Day came around, still no sales, and very quickly I lost all my motivation. After spending like $30 in ads, I just closed down the store. Over the next two years, I probably tried to start three or four different Shopify stores though, and pretty much got the same results for every single one of them. Get a couple of lucky sales, go over my little ad budget, and then get discouraged and quit. Looking back at it, I kind of want to punch myself because knowing what I know now and seeing how successful a lot of these guys got, I think if I just put a little bit more time and effort into like learning about the ads and testing different strategies, I think I would have got a lot more success than I did. And some Sometimes now I see some products that I was starting to sell that never took off on my store that have gone completely viral. Like there is this one baby like pacifier that you put fruit into. I go to like Walmart and stuff now and see it there all the time. And I'm just like, Argh! so that's my drop shipping experience. Never really profitable, but even the few sales that I did have did teach me a good amount. So yeah, 
All right, number three is reselling. This side hustle is probably the first profitable one that I've had and the one that I've been most consistent with throughout the years. Buying things at thrift stores and auctions and then just reselling them on Facebook Marketplace or eBay has honestly made me a good chunk of change. This channel actually started as a thrifting channel. Some of the earlier videos on here are me and Nico just going to thrift stores scanning products on eBay all day and reselling them. For me, this is one of my favorite side hustles because for me, it's pretty fun. And it's also incredibly passive if you know what to look for. I love going to thrift stores anyways. So if I can just go um, just because I'm shopping and then find something for like a really good price that I know is gonna sell, it's just like it's easy money throwing on Facebook Marketplace. And like a lot of times it'll sell within a few days. My biggest products have been uh, musical instruments like guitars. I've sold probably over 10 guitars and phones. Phones always sell like super good, especially iPhones. You'll sell like almost any iPhone if you price it right within a day or two. I haven't kept track of how much I've made reselling over the years, but just doing it just here and there, going to a store, just picking something up and then selling it. I've, I've easily made like three, $4,000. So it's pretty sick. So number four is detailing. Out of all of these side hustle, this one has probably been the most impactful in terms of teaching me about business and sales and even work ethic. If you've seen my how to start a detailing business video, then you'll know that you can make a lot more money with detailing as a side hustle than you think. And it's also pretty chill. You know, you work outside, you work at your own pace, you find your own clients. Out of all the side hustles in this video, I would say if your goal is to make good money quickly, then this is probably the one for you. And if you want to learn how to get started you can check out my how to start a detailing business video uh, in the description number five is being a courier driver uh, I did a video about this one as well. Driving around, delivering food, it's a low stress, low barrier to entry side hustle that you can actually make some pretty decent money doing. There isn't really a lot that can like go wrong doing this side hustle, like other than like wait times and maybe like cancel orders here and there. I would say the biggest downside to this side hustle is probably the wear and tear on your car. If you're actually trying to make like real money, like thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, um, you better have a Toyota or a Honda. If you want to see my full driving for Skip the Dishes video, I'll also link that one in the description. All right, and finally, that brings us to number six. And this is my favorite side hustle out of all of them, and it's YouTube. Believe it or not, this small channel has made a little bit of money. I think up to this date, this channel has made something like $600 which to me is like incredible. The fact that you can make money making YouTube videos is like the coolest thing in the world to me. It definitely is not the easiest out of all these side hustles. It takes a lot of time to plan, shoot, and edit these videos. But for me, it's by far the most enjoyable out of all of these. And it's probably the only one that I would do for free and have done for free for like 10 years under different channels and not only do i think this is the coolest way to make money out of all of these side hustles but it can also be the most rewarding out of all of these i think the most powerful part about being paid by youtube is the compounding aspect of it youtube doesn't pay you per hour that you work you put up the work up front and then you can reap infinite rewards after that you can have a video from 10 years ago that's still making you money. And that's why some of these numbers that you hear that YouTubers make like six, seven, even eight figures in just ad revenue is not unheard of on this platform. Like people like Mr. Beast are a perfect example of how far you can get on this platform with just a camera and an internet connection and a lot of passion, definitely a lot of passion for sure. So yeah, that's why YouTube is by far my favorite side hustle out of all of these, but let me know which ones are your favorite. Let me know if there's any of these that you'd like to try. I'd love to answer any questions that you guys have. These are six side hustles that I've tried. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, still not good at that. But yeah, man, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.